Hey there, it's Sharon, your guitar guy, helping you find your sound. And today, if you struggle with the B7 chord, don't worry about it, you're not alone. Everybody starts out struggling with the B7 chord, but I'm going to show you three tips on how to play the B7 chord. And that's coming up! <laughs> Hello and welcome, if this is your first time here, to Your Guitar Guide, the channel where I'm going to help you find your sound with guitar lessons, music, and gear reviews. Then have a look around and consider subscribing if you like what you see for more guitar tips and tricks. And for all of you that have already subscribed, thank you very much for supporting the channel. I know firsthand how it is for a beginner guitar player to play a B7 chord and all guitar players have to go through the same obstacles they have to overcome the same things and one of them is the B7 chord so today I'm gonna to give you three tips that will make playing the B7 chord easier and first let's look at fretting the B7 chord right here So first, we're going to put your first finger on the first fret of the D string, which is the fourth string. Your second finger will go right here on the second fret of the A string. Your third finger is going to go on the G string on the second fret. And then your fourth finger, or pinky, is going to go on the second fret of the high E string. That in itself is tricky to put all four fingers down. So if you want, you can practice without that pinky. When you do that, don't play the high E string. You're only going to pick the inside string, so both E strings you don't want to pick. Okay, so now you've got all your fingers on there. I want you to take your hand off the neck of the guitar and just shake it loose to the side and then place your hand back on the guitar and make a B7 chord. So what's that feel like? It's a little tricky. Don't even worry about strumming or anything. We're just going to practice putting your hand back on to make the B7 chord. Take a look at all the strings. See how your fingers are placed. The more you do that, the easier it will become. So now you got used to putting your fingers on there, but is it sounding like this? Or are some of the strings muted? If it sounds like that, you want to look at the strings and find out why. Most of the time it's because you're not playing on the tips of your fingers right here. If you're playing down here, then you'll mute some other strings, so... You want to be playing right on the tips. And right, not up here, but at the back side of that fret, the bar going down, is the fret right here. So, you want to be right next to it, but not on it. So place your fingers one at a time right next to the fret. Take a look to make sure they're not muting any of the strings. Another thing, if your thumb is back here, 
on the neck of the guitar, this drops your wrist down lower and put your hand in the proper position so you'll be able to play without muting the strings. Another tip when you're playing the B7, you don't want to be playing this E string, so you can use this second finger and just gently put it against that sixth string. Hope you can see that. It's on the A string, but it's touching the sixth string. So if you're strumming away and you accidentally hit it, you're not going to hear it because it's muted. Like I'm hitting that string, but you can't even tell because it's muted. So now that you're used to putting your fingers in place, let's practice going from the D to the B7. You don't know how to make the B chord? Put your first finger on the G string at the second fret, the third string. Your second finger is on the second fret of the E string, and your third finger is going to be on the third fret of the B string, the second string. And you strum from the fourth string down. So now that you've got that, practice going from there. Don't worry about strumming. This going from D to B7. And you're not trying to go as fast as you can. What you want to do is make sure you're placing your fingers on the strings properly. And the more you watch what your fingers are doing, the easier it's going to become. Okay, so practice going from D to B7. Do that about five times. five to ten times and then we're going from B7 to B7 to the D practice doing that five to ten times don't forget to completely take your hand off the guitar neck look away shake your hand out put it back up there and try it called muscle memory the more you do something on the guitar but you have to be doing it right or you're gonna memorize it the wrong way and it's hard to go back and correct it after you've, you've started playing the wrong way a tip when you make the chord and practicing it pick each string one at a time so you can hear if you're playing it properly or not. If it's muted then find out why and make adjustments. Same with the D, any chord. What is that? So if you're not playing on the tips of your fingers, you're going to be muting strings. I made an adjustment and corrected the problem. Practice doing that. Probably feels a little weird. If you think you've got it under control, then go from D, strum down, B7. about getting fancy on the strum and just strum down. One, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four. In order to switch, you have to be thinking about where you could put your fingers before you actually switch over. You know after the fourth beat you're gonna switch, so think about it ahead of time.
practice the B7, and if you struggle with chords and transitioning between chords, which how to set up chords, then check out the Guitar Bootcamp course over at YourGuitarGuide.com. If you like this lesson and got something out of it, can you give me a thumbs up? Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And stay safe. Don't forget to watch that video there. Thanks.